Welcome to my channel. Check out my YouTube channel, Honeybee Tech. Another day in the office, checking on my hives, doing a few experiments. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell to my channels. G'day, beaks and beaks to be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. So what we have today is a way to improve your beetle trap. Now a beetle trap of this style um, has just has two clips at the end made of plastic that holds that together and as the beetle trap is worked and placed in the hives occasionally this can flick off and when you close the hive up it can fall apart and what that can cause is whatever you've got in here can cause the death of your bees and the loss of your hive if it falls down the bees get into it so we've been shown a little tip and trick by a by an associate by the, by the, with the initials of LS and um, basically we've got ourselves some zip ties and your beetle trap and quite simply you loop your zip ties over the second fin we find that more effective a bit more a bit stronger and you simply fit your zip tie number one and then on the other end you do the same making sure that's clipped on and even though this may look like a permanent a permanent um, adjustment it's not you actually fit these if you put the lug at the bottom it actually allows you to tighten up nicely and just the way that it fits on once you then have them nice and tight don't go using a ply to pull them that'll be too tight and you give them a clip nice and sturdy and you can use your hive tool however you want without risk that of coming off and then all you've got to do is just clip that over the front twist it around and you're able to service your trap and that happens both ends completely removable to do whatever you need to do give it a good clean and then when you want to replace it you just wrap it back around and then loop it underneath and you've got a trap that's just as effective but now f foolproof very very safe and um, we found that it speeds up when placing the trap back in the hive it's seriously five times quicker than it was before because you can treat these as one unit without having to worry about hooking this off by accident. Just a few tips. The join of the cable tie you must have at the bottom. This allows you to flick it off the front to then remove it to service the trap. And in terms of the size and strength of your zip ties, as long as the zip ties can fit in between the fins of your trap, whatever you're using, it's very easy. The following video is condensed to show an example of best practice in beekeeping. This was a drone layer and we found it's been overtaken by a small hive beetle. As you can see how they can proliferate in the cells. So the way you can save your frames, hose out the cells as we're doing here, but then you can replace it back into a healthy hive um, and they'll be cleaned up quickly and you can it saves you cutting out all these frames and destroying all your works. As you can see in the water, all these grubs are getting washed out. So that shows you, you know, the, the numbers. And this, this was caught early. So if it had been left to go to a, to a dead out, you'd have a lot bigger troubles than this. So early detection is key. So don't be shy when you shake that water out. Because out with it will come all those grubs. It will be eaten alive by ants pretty quickly. And as you can see, even as, as Alan's tapping them there, they're, they're flicking out like, nothing's, like nothing else. Get all that water out. And we've done this time and time again with just a frame or two as necessary. Mostly with stickies placed into a healthy hive. Do not place them into a hive if they're still full of grub, especially not into a wheat hive. Today we're cleaning a beetle traps, taking the top bars off, cleaning all the uh, burr came off, trap is nearly half full of uh, beetles. 
The sides of the traps are cleaned of all wax and poplars so that the trap will fit down in between the two frames neatly. The ends are also cleaned so that the little clip or the lip fits snugly together when the two parts of the trap are fitted together. I used to clean these uh, top halves but no longer do so because of the time involved. It is easier to purchase the top half because of the number of them. These are some end ties that uh, are dirty after being taken off the uh, ends of the traps and we now put them into uh, thinners. Thinners is the only thing that will dissolve wax and poplars. To my knowledge they're left there for an hour or so and shaken around and by that time all the uh, wax and propolis is dissolved and they can be reused again. After about an hour we just shake it and generally all the, uh, all the wax and propolis has, has been removed. As you can see here, there's no wax or propolis on these particular uh, ties and they're ready for reuse again. What we do is we just use some liquid soap and give them a wash and they're put back together again on the uh, new, new or reconditioned traps. It's called recycling. I'm now uh, washing the liquid soap off the ties so they can be reused again. These are the uh, ties ready to be uh, reused again on the traps. Next process is to make sure that there's sufficient uh, dead beetles in the bottom of the trap. Or new tech filler paste. And we get a new or a replacement uh, top for the, for the uh, traps. Clip it on and we put on the, uh, we put on the lock ties so the trap cannot come off. And kill the bees. We wrap the trap up in, in paper, ready to go back out on site, ready to be put back in the hives. Here are a number of traps. The traps, when they're placed in the hives, are placed only in the top, underneath the lid, with a cover on top so that they're not popularized up. If you don't do that, then the bees will pop us all the holes up and the traps are useless. So when, when you're putting beetle traps in, two frames or at least one frame either side of your beetle trap must be cleaned. So we're cleaning this all and you wax will pop us off. So the beetle trap sits nice and snug and flat. Do not throw your propolis and wax on the ground as that's a medium for transfer of disease <laughs> Spread your frames. Also, wax is highly priced. Squeeze your frames together so your beetle trap's nice and tight and snug, nice and firm down on top. You fold, you fold your vinyl in, in the shape of a gable roof and just slightly put it over the top so it's a nice, neat fit. And then you can put your lid on. Today we're cleaning a beetle trap. Again. Taking the top bars off. Cleaning all the uh, burr came off. The trap is nearly half full of uh, beetles. The sides of the traps are cleaned of all wax and poplars so that the trap will fit down in between the two frames neatly. The ends are also cleaned so that the little clip or the lip fits snugly together when the two parts of the trap are fitted together. I heard from one of the beekeepers that uh, they experimented with cleaning some of their tops of their traps with hot water and detergent so uh, I'm going to give it a try. Right, I'm going to pour some uh, detergent in. Some hot water. 
and there. And now I just put the uh, the tops in. Just leave them in there for a little bit. Shake them up and down. Just leaving them in there for a little while to uh, for the uh, wax and propolis to uh, get uh, dissolved. This is a few of the uh, tops of the uh, AJ's bid leader trap that uh, I've uh, cleaned with the hot water and detergent. Clean as a whistle. Saving me $2.50 a unit and uh, able to clean uh, as many in the uh, container as, as I can fit in there. Here are some more of the clean tops of the AJ's bit of traps ready to be fitted back together again with the uh, ties or the end ties so they don't uh, come apart. Once the trap is uh, put back together again it is uh, wrapped up and uh, in paper and sealed ready to be put back in the hives again. So when, when you're putting beetle traps in, two frames or at least one frame either side of your beetle trap must be clean. So we're cleaning this all any wax will prop us off. So the beetle trap sits nice and snug and flat. Do not throw your propolis and wax on the ground as that's a medium for transfer of disease. Spread your frames. Also wax is highly priced. Squeeze your frames together so your beetle trap's nice and tight and snug, nice and firm down on top. You fold, you fold your vinyl in, in the shape of a gable roof and just slightly put it over the top so it's a nice neat fit and then you can put your lid on. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to my channel to help it grow. Thanks for watching. G'day Beaks, Tech here. Welcome to my channel. So come along and join me on my beekeeping adventures, working my bees. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Click the bell to my channel to be notified of uploads. This is only five days of the beetle trap being placed in the hive. And I have now got two in each super and this amount of beetles that's in the trap it was overflowing. This 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 is where I took the trap out of. Tapped the same trap in this other corrugation and look how many beetles have been tapped out of it. So I'm uh, putting a new trap in. Actually putting two new traps in each super. This is one trap on the on the outside. Put the other trap on the opposite outside. Just got to put the covers on and then they'll be completed. The covers have now been placed on and I'm just putting the upper summer mat on. So now the whole lot's complete, ready for the lid. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to my channel to help it grow. Thanks for watching. Tex apiary sites are situated in the southeast of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Beekeeping in Queensland, the temperature's down to uh, 14 degrees and the wind is uh, really howling. But all my sites are sheltered so today we're going out. The area into the beehive sites is still uh, a lot of water. 
and uh, we're going to have to walk in by Lewitt. The tech crew coming in, we're actually walking in because it's too uh, wet for us to drive in at the present time. Subscribe to learn more. We've got to check uh, some nukes here for stores and also uh, one particular nuke that uh, we don't know whether we've got a queen in or not. This one is a double nuke on, with, with a divider board and uh, also this one is also now we're, we're transferring them back to uh, two separate uh, nukes. Uh, just, just open it up see if there's any mildew in there uh, June with that solid mat. Yes there is. Okay right, we, we need to we need to cut the uh, put the uh, the vented mats in. This but this particular nuke uh, had a queen cell put in uh, a few weeks back with the uh, second queen run. So we're going in now to see whether there's a queen laying or not. Last time we went in, we put a frame of brood in to, as, as a double check. So now we'll see whether we've got uh, eggs or whether we've got nothing. Even though it's a cold day, we've, we've got to be able to do it. No, nope, nothing here. Right, kick that to get out the road. If no queen or eggs can be found, it's a waste of time and a waste of these bees by leaving it uh, to its own devices. Because there are shadows uh, in this particular area, we are using a torch to try and find some eggs. But it uh, doesn't look like there's many there. Anything? No, just let it keep rolling. I just edit, edit it out. You have to put the glasses on. <laughs> the just ancient glasses? No, not th no th these are my new ones. Huh? These. <laughs> where's, where's the zipper? Further, further. There, yeah. Should have put these on before I left them. Guess what? Put put on the right, correct way, and you might see, won't you? No, there was, there was dry as anything. Yeah, doesn't look promising, does it? No, no. 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 Right, yeah, okay. Tell you what, the, if, 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 if the weight of that, they're getting down, light on food too. I'm now reassembling this particular nuke and uh, going to place it up on top of the one beside it. Beetle trap is being uh, replaced uh, in the centre frames. Again. So oh, we don't need to, oh no, you, you don't even want to put honey in there? Well we'll check, up. we'll lift this one. See what we got. Yeah, it's got it's got enough I'd say. To borrow? Yep. I'm now removing the uh, special uh, double uh, nuke base uh, and converting the, these particular nukes back to a single unit. N8 has a, uh, a queen in it, but uh, the other nuke uh, is queenless. Why did you change that? Well, it's a double, that's a double base. Oh, okay. We're going back to a sing single oh, nuke. Okay, yep. It is necessary for 
all hives in winter or in the colder months. I'll be editing anyway. I'll fix that up after. To tilt forward so that if any moisture congregates inside the hive, it will uh, drain out. It'll probably take the bees in uh, N15 to uh, orientate themselves with the entrance of uh, N8. Even, even though... Uh, well, hang on, I'll just, just put the lid on for the moment and I'll be over in a min minute. Yeah, the wind's really howling, isn't it? Yeah. We're just yeah. checking beetle trap on this one here. Got your hive tool. <laughs> this is only a single queen, this particular one. Right, let's see how that trap is. How yeah, is it? Um, an older one. We'd like to replace it. Yep. All right. I'll put a, put a new, one, fresh one in. The fresh ones have got new uh, baits in them. Right. Just put it in the centre there. You right. Yep, squeeze all your... Now hang on. Now see there? You haven't got the centre, centre lug in, in its proper, proper position. Have a look. No, take it out, tilt it on the side and have a look. look you watch. There, that's it. Right, squeeze your frames together. All the frames together, have space on the outside. All right, cover. Flatten her out. Good room, mat. Uh, that goes to the front, yep. That's it. All right, lid on. Finished. Rain hood, M lock finished. Right, okay. Just do the finger test on this one here, June, to see uh, how much honey's in it. Come on, haven't you eaten your Wheaties for breakfast? Oh, I'd say there was enough. Huh? I'd say there was enough. <laughs> Three fingers can hardly get enough. Uh, I bet you couldn't yeah. budge it. <laughs> That's why I asked you to. <laughs> you said you ate your weeds for breakfast. Okay, it's don't forget to put your rain hood on. Now uh, this side, this side's really good. Uh, expected us to, to have to feed, uh, put some frames of honey in, but uh, we haven't had to do so, which is fantastic. We've checked all the nukes uh, in this uh, picture, and uh, we've uh, lost one queen out, 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 of, out of one nuke only. So that's a pretty good effort, really. Moving around to the other nukes, and these are all good. All have sufficient honey for the next before the next inspection takes place. Now finish this site, we're on our way out. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell to be notified of uploads. Thanks for watching.